she could barely hold back the tears It was too good to be true It was too good to be true It was too good to be true Everything that she waited for Everything that she dared to dream Suddenly was outside her door It was too good to be true It was too good to be true It was too good to be true Welcome back to the Judge Timbers channel and to Saturday Night with Tom Petty on my channel. I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, today we're going to be covering a great track off the Into the Great Wide Open album. It's called Too Good to Be True. One of my favorites. It's kind of a deep track. Um, let's just jump right into this. So uh, let's talk tuning first. That's probably the most important thing on this one. Um, I'm 99% sure, 99% sure, not 100% sure, that Tom and the and the Heartbreakers, uh, Mike and everybody, recorded this in open tuning, standard tuning, no capos or anything. There might be some layer guitars with a Jeff Lynne production, there always is, but I think the main guitars are playing in the key of E minor. Uh, and that's how I'm going to teach this. And when the Heartbreakers and Tom played this live, they always played in the E minor in standard tuning. So I'm pretty sure that's how they recorded it. If you go to play along to the original uh, record on Into the Great Wide Open, it's going to be slightly raised above the E minor. doesn't quite get to F minor, which tells me probably the tape speed was just increased to increase the tempo a little bit and increase Tom's vocal a little higher, whatever. Uh, you know, the Beatles did it all the time. Tom does it occasionally. Um, so that's what I think happened. It doesn't matter, but just if you try to play along to the record in E minor, you know, it's going to be off. It's not going to sound just right. You're going to have to tune to them if you want to play along to the record on this one. But you can play along to the live recordings, and there's many great videos on YouTube. Um, so anyway, let's get into this. There's only a couple of parts to this song, and everything's pretty standard. Uh, it's a wonderful song. I will say there's so many layers to this. If you listen with headphones, you can really appreciate like the Jeff Lynne production. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of guitar parts, um, really, really beautiful stuff going on in the background. But I'm just going to teach the basic rhythm guitar, really what the acoustic guitars are playing on this song, which is a great way to just play this song, but it's not going to give you all the little pieces. Um, so we're going to start again in the E minor, all right? So the first, the riff is just E minor, G, A, back to G. So E minor, G, A, back to G. So more in real time, it's E minor, G, A, G, E minor, G, A, G. Then the next part 
It's too good to be true. It's just a D, a D major, to an A minor. Repeat that. Too good to be true. A minor, one more time. Too good to be. Now, A minor, I'm going to go to a G chord, to a C. Too good to be true. In your back. But on that A minor, too good to be true, to a G, to the C. When you're walking up the A minor, you really want to emphasize the B bass now. So A minor, it's really walking up the B to the C. Which obviously there's a B bass note in the G. So I'm going to play a G. A minor, G, C. Too good to be E minor, A. I'm sorry, G, A, G, E minor, G, A, G. Now the only other real part of the song is the middle part. So it's just a D. play a C add nine a C and when I'm adding nine I'm adding on the B string the second string at the third fret the D note so a C it's that beautiful sound so a D you could just play regular C if you want but I like C add nine there which you can hear on the accordion and probably all the guitars are not playing that C a D I'm sorry C and then you hold the C add nine too good to be true Before the it comes back in part, um, whatever that's called, a fade in, um, it, you know, he's just playing that riff, Mike Campbell's playing some nice solos, a lot of stuff going on, right? And then it ends on an odd chord. I'm going to play, I'm hearing something like an E7 suspended fourth chord, something like that, which is just a really easy chord to play. It's just a two finger chord on the second fret at the fifth string, the A string, and the third, uh, the G string third string G string um, just that two finger there an E seventh sus four I believe that's called um, I think that's what they're playing but it's hard to tell for sure uh, or you could just end on an E minor that's fine too either one and that's really it folks that's too good to be true by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers again off the Into the Great Wide Open album I really appreciate your support I appreciate if you stuck around to the end of the tutorial uh, hopefully next week I'll be back with another Tom Petty related lesson. Uh, have a great week. I'll see you then. Bye.